Well, dear, we're all packed up, ready to go. Yep, headed to Florida for a few weeks. Yep. Um, we're going to make a few, well, actually a couple stops along the way. And yeah. And see some things. We're not doing it in one uh, complete shop. Right, but we're we're getting out of uh, Rochester on, on a good day. It's not snowing. It's actually kind of warm, a little wet, but mm -hmm. um, it's not winter, so... So hopefully we're going to warmer weather and sunnier weather. Well, it should be. We'll be there for a month, so it should be warmer, at least some of that. Right. Yeah. So um, The dogs are all in the truck. Everything's packed. Yep, ready to go. We're ready to go. Let's hit the road. Okay. All right. Here they are, driving away. We made our first stop, Pennsylvania rest area. Dogs needed resting. Right. Come on. What? Come on, Jeff, get in. Get in. Ohio. Find it here. at Columbus, Ohio for our lunch dinner. We are headed to Panda Express. Yep. And so we were parked in the big orange parking lot. It looked like a place we could fit in. We didn't think we could park over by the Panda Express. Wouldn't fit in there. You know, one of the things about when we travel around, we get to go to different restaurants we don't have at home. That's true, and uh, Panda Express is the first one that we have visited before. How was your Panda Express? It was very good. Yeah. My favorite is their orange chicken. I think that's everybody's favorite. Um, yeah, it's something different that's not hamburgers and french fries. And it's always clean and um, the meal is always good and consistent. So everything you look for for road trip food. Well, good morning. This is our second day, and we got to Florence, Kentucky, uh, just across the Kentucky border from Ohio. There's the Airstream back there. And we pulled into a rest area, as you can tell by the background noise of truck engines. And we spent the night here. And there's probably some pluses and minuses to 
overnighting at a rest area that uh, I'll go into if you've never done it before. Um, one of them, the, the, one of the minuses obviously is the noise and you've got these trucks and so you can get in here and get lucky like we did last night and we had a bunch of uh, RVs all kind of parked around each other and that was one of the reasons I decided to stay. We were at the end and so I was pretty confident we wouldn't have too many trucks next to us running their engines all night and we didn't. So we got a reasonably good night's sleep. Um, we did have a few trucks pulling in and out uh, during the night so you, you heard that a little bit. Probably wasn't the best night's sleep but it was okay. And but the plus side is it was it's very convenient right off the highway and we were able to stay here actually for no cost so it's definitely a plus. Good morning. How'd you sleep? Very good. Very toasty warm. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah that's one of the things I mean, we drove like 12 hours no nine hours yesterday and the idea was that we wanted to get um, down south a little bit where it would have some warmer temperatures for the night and we did. It was only probably in the 50s last night. Plus we turned the furnace on for a bit and I got the trailer pretty nice. Yep. And a couple of blankets and a couple of dogs on the bed kept us warm. Right. Yep. So now we're off again for today. Yep. We're heading off. We're going to go as far as Atlanta today. Um, and find a place to stay. I've got some place in mind. We'll give them a call a little later to see if they got room for us. And then we'll go check out Atlanta for a day or so before we continue our trek down to Florida. Finish go, uh, going through the uh, Colonel Sanders Museum, which is located uh, at a KFC restaurant in Corbin, Kentucky. Yeah, this, so this is the original location that he developed the Kentucky Fried Chicken recipe and perfected in his kitchen of his motel. And it, well, it used to be a regular motel here with multiple rooms and. Right, and I believe there was also a gas station here. Yeah. And uh, yeah, this used to be the main route north and south, Route 25, that you would take from Cleveland all the way to uh, Florida. So it was on the main road, and he built the uh, or he, he kind of had a gas station here, and then he ended up with a motel and uh, restaurant. And he ran it until in the mid 50s when the expressway was built, and he figured that the he would lose too much business here, so he sold it and went out and started the franchise essentially. Right. After he sold it, he lived on uh, Social Security every month. It was over, a little over $100 a month. And he used that and developed it into a multi-million um, restaurant franchise. Right. One of the first um, major uh, restaurant franchises, too. All right, Colonel. We want to know, what makes your chicken so good? What's in those 11 herbs and spices? Come on, let us know. We want the secret. So, with his development of um, the Kentucky Fried Chicken, he actually invented fast food as we know it today. In fact, one of the things is he um, shortened the amount of time it take to make the fried chicken by using pressure cookers as opposed to their traditional frying the chicken, which would take about 30 minutes to prepare the chicken. He could do it in nine minutes in a pressure cooker. Right. Well, this was good. This was a good stop. Right. It was very interesting to see um, 
where Kentucky Fried Chicken was originated. Yeah. Now I want a bucket of chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's quite busy inside. Yeah, they were really busy. So. Oh, well. I guess we better get going. Get back on the road. Right. south of Atlanta and we picked it because we were looking for something in the Atlanta area um, it was a it was a nice KOA it had rained um, so it was a, a little wet and a little muddy but um, it was a good site it was a pull through site which made it easy instead of having to back up and uh, yeah because we got in there after dark Right, right. Um, there was a dog, a small dog, dog park, and uh, it seemed to be quite, quite a big KOA. Yesterday we drove into Atlanta, so we spent the afternoon there. Yep, we went to the World of Coca-Cola, which was a lot of fun. We're at Centennial Park in um, Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah, we're kind of way over to the World of Coca-Cola and checking that out. Oh, sir. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. How's your coke, sir? How's your coke? Good. Yeah. Nice and refreshing. So, my first question is how is everyone doing today? Awesome. So, my so my name is Adrian. I'm going to be your ambassador for this trip. We're going to be with you for a total of 15 minutes. Eight of those minutes are going to be in the loft. I'll talk a little about the history of Coca-Cola, point out some of the hard artifacts in this room, as well as what to expect here at the world of Coca-Cola. But then has our Coca-Cola theater see a short film called Moments of Happiness. That film is about six minutes long, then we'll head out to the hub, and that's your self guide trophy. Oh, we've been in the vault, and... We don't know the secret. Nope. No. No. No clue. They didn't. They didn't open it up for us. You think they would, but they didn't. No, they did. Oh well. And we didn't discover the secret we didn't. ingredients. No. We just watched a 4D video of uh, the secret of Coca-Cola. Do you know what the secret is yet? Nope. Neither do I. Nope. They don't seem to want to tell you secrets around here. They just said there's a secret ingredient, but they will not disclose it. Correct. But we're going to keep looking. we got the special glasses and everything. Right. We're going to do the taste test? That's where we're headed. Okay. I don't know. 
Dominican Republic. Oh. <laughs> All right, don't take that one. <laughs> So what do you think of Coca-Cola World? Um, I thought it was, um, it was nice. I enjoyed the visit there. They have a lot to see. Um, they have a couple movies, a lot of memorabilia for Coca-Cola. Uh, yep. the, the secret ingredient, which is in a vault. Right, and we're going to tell you what that is at the end of the video, so stay tuned. <laughs> yeah, right, stay tuned. So yeah, I thought it was uh, I thought it was worth the wait. And then there's the uh, tasting area. Right, right. That was um, that was cool. Um, a lot of a lot of countries, a lot of tasted, you know, some different Coke products. Right, different flavors that you wouldn't have here. Mm -hmm. um, and then they've got the freestyle machines where you can try different things. I think most that I tasted. I didn't really care for it. <laughs> uh, no, there was one, it was kind of a pineapple drink. Oh, that one wasn't so bad. So that one wasn't too bad. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, it was neat. The whole, the whole visit was really kind of cool. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. I enjoyed it. Yeah. If you like this video, what should they do? They should subscribe to our channel. And? Give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up. And? Ring the bell so that you get notifications so when we post new videos on a weekly basis, you can follow along on the journey. All right. Well, thanks everybody for watching and we will see you down the road. Next time. See you uh, down the road, guys.